Hello, loves. I have a Fab Collab hosted by Kimberly from Diva Designing on a Dime. My talented YouTube sister is at it again with her third annual Show Some Love collaboration to commemorate Valentine's Day. But she added a twist, a do-it-yourself project along with your Valentine's tablescape. This is an open invitation, so I am sure you are going to get inspired and get some ideas for your Valentine's tablescape. So without further ado, let's get started. So for the first part of this fabulous collab, she want us to give three favorite things that we like or love. It can be anything. So my first thing is being with my husband. We have a ball together. We do so many things together, but the favorite thing I love doing is taking those weekend drives in the country. We love doing that. I love visiting the restaurants and the wineries. We have so many of them in Virginia. So we love and look forward to doing that. The second thing I love doing is spending time with my family, my mom and my sisters and there are four of us i have two other sisters with the niece and my mom we have so much fun together because we are all a little special <laughs> i mean that in a good way i live so far away from them now and i miss them so much so anytime we visit or i get a visit from them it's always special and lastly, I love spending some time with my girls. I have a group of girls that I hang with. There's about seven of us. We are all from Virginia, except for about a couple, but most of us here in Virginia, and we have so much fun together. We love going on jazz cruises or jazz fest. Not too long ago, we were on the Norwegian there for the jazz festival. And we've seen so many artists and seen so many plays and we drunk so much wine <laughs> and danced and we just had a ball just spending some time with each other. It was such a blast. I love doing it. We try to do it every year, either go on the cruise or on the festival that they have either here in Virginia or in uh, the DC area. The second part of the collab is a DIY planter box to be placed on top of my buffet server. It will be a versatile item that can be used in a buffet setting or a decor centerpiece in many areas of my home. So let's get started. I went to Lowe's and purchased four five and a half by three feet long finished wood planks for about five dollars each for the project. For my planter box, I will need one bottom piece, two sides, and then the fourth would be measured and cut for the ends. We construct the box with finishing nails, then we sink the nails below the wood, just a shallow bit, so it won't be seen, and we fill that with wood putty. We sand it down to a nice even finish, and then we use the tack cloth to rub it off. Once the wood putty was sand evenly, and all the gashes and dents were filled, we applied three coats of stain and let it dry in between each coat. I wanted a nice even color. This is the third part of the collab. We're supposed to show you guys our Valentine tablescape. This is mine, a table for two for Valentine's Day. We're gonna start in the center here with this flower box. This is the DIY at finished and decorated. Isn't it gorgeous? Filled to the hills with Dollar Tree roses. A lot of Dollar Tree roses, actually. So we'll start over here on the far right where you see three hearts. This large glittered heart here is gorgeous. I purchased this from Dollar Tree, believe it or not. Isn't it pretty? It's foam covered in red glitter. I think Dollar Tree did a great job with their Valentine's Day decor this year. The beaded Valentine's decor I've had for about two, three years. And they're 40% off all their Valentine's Day decor. So they do have them. I believe it was the wall hanging. I just cut them apart. But I believe it was like $12.99, might, might even been $16.99, but it was 40% off. These small hearts here, 
on a stick were from Dollar Tree. They were 10 in a pack, I believe. And I thought they would look nice here, just sticking here and there throughout the flower arrangement to bring some more interest. They just peeking out above the roses. I thought they added a nice cute decor there. And I just basically glued these together and just put them together to form a nice three heart display. And I like the way it looks. It looks gorgeous over here. Then we move over on the left side where you see another three hearts. Another Dollar Tree heart here. And these two came from Michael's, but I, like I said, I had them already. They do have the big one there at Michael's. Not sure how much it cost, but I just glued them together to form one unit. And I really, really like how it looks. It, it really gives it a prominent decor piece here on this side to match the other side to balance it out. But uh, there's some more of those Dollar Tree hearts that stuck down in here. I think uh, it really, really turned out pretty. It looks like a big delivery of roses. You know how you get those roses through the delivery service? <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. I guess because of all the decor of hearts and everything sticking out of it. But it looked like somebody delivered it to me. <laughs> but I would love to receive something like this through the mail or as a delivery service to my home. I mean, somebody really would thinking about you if they send something like this through a delivery service for Valentine's Day. <laughs> setting is not exactly Valentine's Day related but it is the color is red and the decor on the plates is some red there so it works for Valentine's Day I don't specifically like I said have Valentine's Day decor and I wouldn't buy um, something like plates or something like that because it's not something that I would use but once a year and I like to use my things throughout the year if I can so what I've done is I just brought out some de decorated plates with flowers and um, my red plates to set on the Valentine's Day decor so let's take a look at one of the place settings here there are two plates and we have a napkin with a heart beaded ring uh, decor there that um, holding our silverware. The beaded plate is from Pier 1, which is uh, on clearance, I believe, or either on sale. They were $11.99, and I got it for $8 and something. This beautiful, beautiful plate, this dessert plate here, isn't that gorgeous? I can bring this out summer, spring, what have you, and it works. And it has a night of red in here, so it works for Valentine's Day. But I just love the decor on it. It has a lot of uh, writing in there, as you can see, like a stamp postcard. That's what I like about it. It's so different and a lot of detail. Beautiful. I believe this was $7.49, and this was on sale 20% off. Then we have our napkins, which was also on sale. It was on clearance for $3.49. And then we have a heart-shaped beaded um, decor here serving as a napkin ring. It matches the hearts in the flower box. So I thought that really bring that together nicely. And it all sits on these black uh, heart mats here that I purchased from Dollar Tree several years back and I just spray painted it black. 
these glasses here. Everybody is familiar with these glass glasses that I showed you some time ago that I purchased at TJ Maxx, I believe it was, several years back. Now this silverware set is near and dear to my heart because it was my very first thrift and estate sale that I went to and I purchased these. I have a video on this. If you're interested, I will link it in the iCard, but I was ecstatic to get this. I went to an estate sale and she sold me this 90 piece, so was it 100 piece, silverware. For $25. Look at the detailing. It is gorgeous. I don't have to polish. It's a lifetime guarantee not to tarnish. She gave me the certificate on it. I have to find it though because I'm really curious. I forgot the name of the company um, that the silverware is by but it is gorgeous. I love this set. Then we come to the center here with this beautiful centerpiece between the two plate seven. It's a small little flower arrangement that I added some red carnations and some Dollar Tree berries. And it's sitting on a silver platter that I thrifted two years ago, maybe three years now. And here's the other plate setting. So that would do it my friends for this collaboration. I really enjoyed it. And don't forget to look in the description box for the playlist link so you can check out the other ladies for this collaboration. I want to thank Kim for another fab collab and on her third Show Me Some Love collaboration. And I hope this continues to happen Kim. This is always an enjoyable collaboration I love doing with you and I'm so happy that you invite me each year. So guys, I will see you on the next video. i see you soon. Don't forget to um, check out the other ladies. I am going to do that. And I know they got some great ideas for you guys for Valentine's Day. See you soon. Smooches.